Read comic books at the Calgary Expo on day three. I'm here with Mark Brooks. Mark, thanks for taking the time to do this for us. No problem. Uh, just a couple of quick questions here. Um, wondering if you can tell us uh, what you're doing right now mm -hmm. and uh, kind of give us uh, maybe a little bit of a, your plan for the future. I know you're doing covers for uh, Fearless Defenders right now. Mm -hmm. Um, is there anything else you got on the go? Is there any plans in the future for like maybe create your own books? Kind of give us a big rundown here. Yeah, well, um, you know, like I said, I'm doing Fearless Defenders. Um, I've been doing various covers for Avengers and X-Men and um, Uncanny Avengers and uh, just a lot of different books. Um, mainly I'm a cover artist right now. Mm -hmm. uh, Creator own, I, I have some stuff on the burner right now that I'm kind of toying with. Um, right now it's in more of the concept stage. Yep. Uh, but, and uh, I'm still toying about, toying around with ideas for distribution or, um, or you know, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, right now I'm mainly just a cover artist and uh, I'm really, really enjoying it. Are there any plans to do uh, like an, an interior book your, all your own? Like, that, I'm sure that would take you a long time to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, just based on, like if you guys look at the some of these prints here, imagine those in your you know, everyday comic. Right. Um, just the time alone, is that something that's kind of making you, you know, think about, hey, I take my time, take a year off, and you got to do all this, or? That's basically what it comes down to. Um, the two options are keep being the cover artist I am and in my, in my free time working on my creator own book or just dedicating full time to it. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm still toying with the idea. It's once we get down to the, the script um, and it starts coming to fruition, I have a better idea of how much time it's going to be involved. Um, hopefully, I can maintain my schedule with being a cover artist and keep doing my uh, creator own. Are you gonna Are you gonna write it yourself, or are you gonna work with another writer? Or? Um, I'm I'm either gonna co-write it with another writer, or I'm just gonna bring another writer on in a um, advisory capacity oh, yeah. and have them just kind of go over my script. I've I've never really written a, a full comic before. But, um, you know, having worked in comics for 10 years and read thousands of them, you know, um, I, I'd like to try it out, you know. I mean, you, you never know what you can do until you try, so. Yeah, and I mean, with, with outlets like Image Comics and stuff right now, it's, mm -hmm. your, your options are, are pretty open for right. sure. Right, so. exactly. And, and I may just take distribution online. Um, I make, may make it uh, a free to download Like uh, thing. Brian K. Vaughn recently did? Yes, Where exactly. you pay, pay whatever you want and exactly. download? Yeah. Which I think worked out quite well for him. It did. I mean, you know, if he can do it, Louis C.K. did it with his comedy album. True. And, you know, and so, you know, I, you, you never know. I mean, I think, I think that the way the Internet is these days and the way comics are. Previously, comics were a, um, were a medium where there was a, a finite amount of ways to distrib distribute your comics. But thanks to the Internet and thanks to all these pirates we got right now, you know, <laughs> working in comics, it's, it's, a, it's the Wild West. Yep. In, a, in a great way, you know, and so we're, we're capable of doing just about anything we can imagine, and, you know, it's just all a matter of if we can just grab that audience's attention. Of course, of course. Okay, let's do a couple of fun things here, maybe. What's your favorite character to draw? Um, oh, wow, it's tough. Uh, <laughs> I, I really like drawing Thor. He's yep. a lot of fun, um, just because of all the, the intricacies to his costume and all that. He's, he's, he's a lot of fun to draw. Okay, and uh, you said you were reading, reading some comics right now. Is there any... Yeah. You know, top two maybe right now. You're you're really digging. Um, I'm I'm really digging um, uh, new X Men, all new X Men. Um, that was really good. Um, I, I like the writing a lot. But I really really dig uh, Stuart Eminem's work. He's, yeah. he's probably one of the, the best artists working in comics. Oh, yeah, that's a great duo in that book. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's really really good. And um, I don't know. Everything else is just I'm just kind of picking it up. Just whatever strikes my fancy at the time. I I, I find myself following artists for obvious reasons. Um, a lot. <laughs> more than writers uh, but you know I do follow writers like I think Bendis is a, is a great writer mm -hmm. um, I love his stories I know some people say that they don't like his decompressed style but I actually really dig that because you get to really feel what the characters are thinking and their motivations so, you know I, I read a lot of his stuff uh, Mark Miller is amazing definitely I love his stuff you know um, so yeah cool cool um, is there anything else you want to uh, you want to let us know anything we should be looking out for coming up uh not necessarily. I mean, you know, just please read Fearless Defenders. I think it's an amazing book. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with those covers, and I'd like. Yeah, they turn out really well. Out. Thank you, thank you. And um, you know, I'll be at uh, at uh, uh, San Diego this summer, right. so please come by and see me and uh, New York Comic Con. So I'll be doing the con circuit. All, all the big so, ones. Yeah. So if you're if you're doing any cons, please you know come look me up, come say hello. Awesome. Well, thank you, sir. No problem.